Testing, one, two, three, testing, one, two, three. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hello. Okay, so today we're gonna be doing a review on perfumes. I have 20 perfumes with me. I still have in my collection because some of them are going bad and then I, you know, toss them out because after a while some perfumes came smell weird. The perfumes that I do have, I have 20 of them. Very first off, we have Elizabeth and James Bourbon perfume. So sleek and so beautiful. I love it. It's got those textury grooves. It's really nice. Like 10 out of 10 for packaging. Um, it's also one fluid ounce, perfect to go on your travels as it has been for me. I usually take this with me to Japan when I go during the winter and um, see my fam. Reminds me of like an old man, like drinking some scotch by the fireplace, like in his, his reclining chair with his dog on the rug with his floppy ears just sleeping. Dog's old, he's old, they're both wise and by the fireplace, all cozy and relaxing. This is that vibe. And it's a good vibe. It's a good vibe. It's very like complex, but not too complex to like not be able to distinguish what it is. Like you smell it and you're like, oh, that is whiskey and books. Just coziness. It's just rich. Next up for my winter scents, I have Atelier Cologne's Vanilli Incensi. And this is made in France. Oh, 91% of the ingredients are natural origin. Yes, yes, yes. Cologne Absolute. And um, it is absolutely beautiful. It is like a single note of just like vanilla and actually it's more than that. It's vanilla and like a little bit of spice, like cinnamon, nutmeg or cinnamon. Uh, very nice, very nice. Like travel friendly. I love the white little leather case on this. This is a good perfume actually for layering because of how like simple one note, one noted it is. It's yeah, vanilla. If you want to make something a little bit more warmer and more vanilla, this is a good layering perfume. Next perfume, I have Gucci Rush 2. Um, I feel bad for recommending this because I think they just stopped making it. So it might be a little hard to get your hands on, but if you could get your hands on it, oh my god, consider yourself lucky and blessed because Gucci Rush 2 is phenomenal. It's one of the coziest scents I've ever smelt. And this one I actually got in Japan. I think I paid like $30, like equivalent in yen. I and mean, it's lasting me a long time and I'm like always like dousing myself in it. It's just like the perfect cuddle perfume. Like if I were to smell this on someone and they were to just be like, I don't wear perfume. I would totally believe them because it kind of just has that smell of like skin, clean and cozy. Um, and yeah, that's exactly what it is. Oh, this one too is also made in France. Oh would you look at that would you look at that this one is also 30 milliliters one fluid ounce i love that it's also just like a plastic bottle um i mean i don't love plastic but i love that it's like durable and i could just like throw it in my bag and i love like the pop like the pink on it too like the pop in magenta it's it's just so good and i love how i can like see clearly too like as far as like how much is left yes very good perfume very good perfume clean and comfortable um fall i only have two sense so it should go by fast um the first one i have is joe malone blackberry and bay cologne this one too is one fluid ounce pretty much all of my perfumes are one fluid ounce it just works better for me i collect way too much perfume to have anything a size bigger than that and for me to use it in a reasonable amount of time anyways this one too i love how like sleek it is i could just like throw it in my bag and it's also so chic like pulling out of your bag too because it's just like oh, joe malone this one is like very sultry like it kind of almost smells like manly, but not really. It's like unisex. It's fruity, but not like in a sweet way. It has like the bay leaf that like is pulling it to, you know, grounding it, grounding the berries. I would also say like a cuddly perfume because um, I would definitely love to cuddle someone wearing Blackberry and Bay. That's just so good. So good. And I'll probably repurchase this once I'm done with it because I cannot go without, can't go without Bay. Next up we have Another 13, and this is literally one of my most favorite perfumes ever. Like, literally hands down. If I had to pick just one perfume to use for the rest of my life, another 13. Like, when you are when you wear this, you just have like an aura of like classy and chic and expensive and cool and edgy. All February of 2019, that's so cute. 
I love that. Yeah, I love how they put your little name on it and mine has a little heart on it. It's pretty cute. Everything about Leila Labo, I, I just love and adore. Magnifico. So I actually got these alt fragrances. I'll say this one is a really good dupe for Another 13. Like this one is like a very lightened down version of Another 13. And I actually kind of prefer that on some days because this is, oh wait. Okay, I think this might have changed on me in a matter of months. It smells different now. When I first got it and the bottle was fresh, it smelled pretty similar to like a watered down version of another 13 by Le Labo. So they did a really good job like duping it, but just spraying it right now, the scent kind of like changed a little on me, hmm, but it's still there. I recommend this, although it might not last as far as how good it stays. Since we're talking about alt fragrances already, I will review the other one I got the alt fragrance for, which is Molecule Oil 01 from Eccentric Molecules. And this one, I used every last bit and I'm so sad. I'm just waiting till like I get a boyfriend who will like repurchase this for me. I'm just kidding. I don't need a boyfriend to repurchase my perfume for me. Although I do love getting perfume as gifts from Boo. What am I saying? Okay, anyways. This is Molecule Oil 01 by Eccentric Molecules, and I freaking loved it, obviously, you can tell, and it was the best thing ever. It really doesn't smell like much, but it changes your aura. I don't know how to describe that, but it makes you magnetic. You smell sexy enough to where you want to just be like... First time I ever found this perfume, I was actually a receptionist over at a salon, and I was like, you know, checking people in, people come up to me, and then... Uh, sometimes like the width of them this lady client even before she came up to the counter she was like walking in through the door and i like smelled it right away i was like <sighs> and honestly like this is like a head turner in the most subtlest way it's good it's sexy it's original it's mm, everything the, this perfume what it reminds me of is if you guys ever read the book perfume novel perfume by German writer Patrick Suskind. Patrick Suskind? In that novel, um, Grenouille, he, this guy, or this little demon child, he's, um, doesn't have, he's born without a scent, and he doesn't smell like anything, and this whole novel is about him going to all these lengths to smell like human, because humans are supposed to have, like, a scent, according to, like, milk mothers. Milk mothers are, like, the people who, uh, so he was passed off as a baby because his parents didn't want him uh, to a milk mother so that at least Grenouille as a baby can have milk. And even the milk mother smelled his head and was like, baby's heads usually smell like warm butter, but this baby doesn't smell like warm butter. And she tossed him off and it was so sad. He was just rejected for not having a scent. But because of like this upbringing and being like rejected for not smelling like human he goes on and goes on a pursuit to, to smell like the most beautiful human uh so that people would be attracted to him and like you know he couldn't have a normal life so he goes on and kills all these beautiful women and um to me i feel like this perfume would be the outcome of that like this is the perfume that kind of draws you into people is like intriguing and interesting but also subtle enough to be like just skin and human and i think this also does smell different a little different on everybody but it's essentially just like one molecule or like one it's a very simple ingredient um but it just is enough to just turn heads alt fragrances also made a mock and they called theirs particle number zero zero and this one, uh, I kind of get what they were going for. And they didn't quite hit it on the nail with this one. It has just like too much alcohol that like overpowers it. And it's not quite the same. Like I could kind of get, it. it's like reminiscent of it, but um, I wouldn't wear this like on its own. I actually don't really wear this that much at all because um, I don't really like it. It's, uh, it's not doing it for me. Next up, um, this one also smells like skin. I just love any perfumes that smell like skin. Sometimes less is more, you know? Yeah, this one is Glossier You, and this is supposed to smell like you. It's just like white musk and something else, but something about it is just so addicting and so like, mm, sexy. It's like unisex and comforting. and it, It's like a perfume that you wanna like cuddle someone with. This is 1.7 fluid ounces, uh, 50 milliliters. And I like that it has like a little groove 
makes it good for like holding and the ombre you can see the liquid in here it's really such a darling and charming little perfume bottle so simple and stylish i i can't say anything bad about this perfume it is probably one of my favorites mm. next up another great perfume for cuddling and another subtle perfume this one's called essential faith kind of pricey for just like a little thing of oil like 60 dollars for I don't even know how big this is. It's pretty concentrated, so you don't need a lot. This one is just like another oil that smells like your skin, but better. It's good quality oil too. I've had my little vial, not this one, but a different one that I purchased for about like two, three years and it still smelled the same. If you're done with chemicals and you, you don't want a perfume and you want a little rolly thing of oil, this one's good. Very high quality and very delicious. I found a dupe for it. Um, I found this guy. This one I've had for so long that the label kind of like is no longer existent. Um, but this is from Auric Blends and this is the Scent Love. Six dollars for double that size. If you're with somebody who's like sensitive to smell and you don't want to like offend them, oils are a good way to um, smell nice for them. Or for yourself too. Wear perfume for yourself because you like it, you know? Let's go to Spring Scents. We're gonna go to Spring Scents. So this one's YSL Parisian. I freaking love the bottle of it it looks like a little like gem like a little rupee mm. it smells like a perfume that like a little princess like a fairy tale princess would would use <sighs> just like a luscious thing of berries just like a handful of berries like but it does smell like perfumey as well with like flowers and uh, other sweet things yes it smells like a perfume for like a little princess and um at one point in my life i did feel like that and thought this was an appropriate scent for me but now i'm just I don't really reach for it too much. It's just like too perfumey for my taste now, but it is a good one and I've used it for a long time. Yeah. Next, this one I also don't use too much either now. This is the YSL Mon Perry. This one has a cute little bow, a little YSL emblem, and then there's like a YSL thing on top too. 30 milliliters, one fluid ounce, but even though it's tiny, I don't really like take it anywhere. This is more like one that just sits on my vanity, continues to sit on my vanity because I don't really pick it up and like reach for it that often. This smells like a girl who like has her life in order, who's very meticulous and like does her makeup all perfect and um, yeah, like flowers, really pretty things. It smells good. I think I wore this at one point in my life when I was like working a 9 to 5 desk job. I was like going into work and like, you know, doing my worker girl thing. And um, this was good for that. It doesn't resemble me quite now though. It's like a type A kind of perfume. Okay. Next one, this was by Dior. Love the packaging for this too. Houndstooth embossed glass. And it says Miss Dior. Absolutely blooming. This one's like a rollerball too. It's the same size as like the Jo Malone. It would be a great travel friendly perfume. It smells so good, but for some reason I just don't pick it up and I don't use it. I like I love it, but I think it's a little bit too intense. It becomes like too like someone has haunt perfume kind of smell. And even though it's like a lovely smell. It doesn't quite suit me right now. Lovely floral scent, if that's your thing. I love how the oil is pink too. That's so cute. So cute. So next up, my for my spring perfume. Honestly, this could be like an everyday perfume too, but I'm gonna classify it as like a spring perfume because it's like floral. This was three Le Empertries. I don't know how to say this, but this is by Dolce and Gabbana. Beautiful pink liquid as well. Actually, the perfume I wore every single day to college. I remember it lasting all day on me and. Even though it lasts like all day, it's like a very light perfume. So it's not like overwhelming. It's just perfect airiness. It has like notes of like kiwi and mandarin, magnolia, patchouli. I don't know. I'll list the notes right here. I don't like floral perfumes, but I love this. Oh yeah. Next up for summer perfumes, I have this Brazilian crush. I think this also comes in like an actual perfume too. The Sol de Janeiro perfume that's like gold and beautiful but yeah this one smells like summer in a bottle it's like coconut and whenever somebody's wearing this automatically know exactly what it is like it's that signature of a scent brazilian crush by sol de, sol de janeiro and i got it at sephora 19 dollars. yeah it smells like coconuts and summer and i love it next dolce and gabbana light blue all intense and it has like a little blue cap too i, I lost it i'll find it somewhere the cap kind of comes off pretty easily though for this one i have i must say but maybe that's because i travel with it anyways this one has like a light blue liquid color very pretty very pretty mm, it's so zesty this one smells so good it's like lemony zesty clean fresh like citrusy and like like manly 
but in like a, like a bold way, like a I'm here kind of way. 0.84 fluid ounces, 25 milliliters, is made in France. It goes a long way. You only need to spray it like once and then you like, you got it, you got it. It smells good. Just it smells like sexy lemons. Next up is a new favorite, also in a blue bottle. This is Ariana Cloud perfume. This one I have been wearing every single day since I got it. It's so good. It smells like candy. Marshmallow fluff, very sweet, but not in like a sickly way. It's like light enough to wear it smelling so sweet isn't like overpowering because if you smell like victor and rolf's like bonbon bonbon scent um that one's like a little bit too strong on like the sweetness for me but this one is just like airy and light enough to where i can like wear it every day charming little like, scent it makes me feel like like innocent and like sweet it's like a cloud of marshmallow and this is actually one of the only celebrity perfumes that i actually like because yeah i don't really like a lot of celebrity perfumes I did like the Reese Witherspoon in Bloom uh, perfume. That one was so good. It was like an Avon exclusive, or it was like an Avon perfume. Do you guys remember that? It was like old school, old, old school perfume. They stopped making it though. It's a shame. Yeah, I don't really like a lot of celebrity perfumes, but Ariana Grande, she did that. She did that. Next up, these are three perfumes that I don't really use that often because they're very strong. They're just a little bit too bold. I feel like I kind of need to be in a mood to wear this. This is definitely a good, like, dating perfume. Oh my god, it smells so good. This is also like a pink, ambery pink liquid by YSL. This is black opium. It's very addictive. It's very, it's a very, like, girls' night out kind of perfume. Like, going out to the club or, like, um, going out in the evening hours. Very sexy, very, very, like, commanding of, like, attention kind of perfume. Even though this is, like, a bigger size, this is also very like, portable. This cap really stays on sturdy cap, so I appreciate that. I love this, like, little window so you can, like, see exactly how much you have left. And I love it. And then my very first perfume ever. This is my last perfume that I have to share, but this is my first perfume that I ever got. Probably like 10 years old now, so it's not fair for me to like smell it and be like, uh, you know, because it did smell good at one point in its lifetime. Packaging is cute for your vanity. This little signature ribbon. It's a very signature scent. Anyone who wears this, you know that they're wearing Chloe. I think Chloe also does like more variations now, like the Chloe roses or like Chloe, the other colors. But yeah, uh, this has a special place in my heart. I remember wearing this in high school. I don't know why I wore this in high school because it's not like a high schooler kind of perfume, but I wore this. So after I went to like my normal days in high school, I went to an adult school afterwards and I was in a class with like, just like adults learning intro to pharmacy. And this perfume definitely does make you feel like older and more wise and like elegant. And yeah, it just smells like an elegant, more mature lady. Not mature as in like grandma, although grandmas can't wear it. It's just more like, just like a wise, like of, age adult lady adult lady and um yeah charming and you know she has a like, good taste that's the kind of vibes i i get from this perfume and the fact that it still smells good after 10 years like that's that's saying something about quality of chloe i will honor it for as long as i can Anyways, let me know what your favorite perfume to wear at the moment is. Sometimes I like switch off. Sometimes it's like Glossy AU currently. And then sometimes it's the, most times it's the Ariana Grande Cloud perfume as of recently. But yeah, those are just like my favorite perfumes. Actually, all of my perfumes. And hopefully this was fun to watch. I l always love like everybody's takes on perfume. Like, especially if you haven't smelt it before, it can kind of be hard to like just gauge like if you might like it or not just based on the notes. So I like hearing people express their opinions on perfumes and yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my expressions of these perfumes and um, yeah, have a good night. Peace. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah.